Our rules are curfew at 12 p.m. This is so that all, that all the athletes can get their beauty sleep. This will help them stay healthy and happy. Rule two is work out three times a day. This is so all athletes can stay ahead of the other athletes who aren't part of our utopia. Rule three, only immediate family can stay with you. This is so all the athletes don't have too, too many distractions. Rule four, must make an all pro team. This is the only criteria to live in our utopia. Must be an active player in one of the four national sports leagues and make an all pro team at least once in your life. Rule five, must have kids. This is to make sure that the next generation of athletes are up to par and are the great ones of today. Number six, no weapons. This is to make sure that there is no violence that occurs. If someone shows signs of violence, they will be removed. Rule seven, pay rent. The ha inhabitants will have to pay rent, which will include housing, meals, a gym to work out and, a, and practice. Rule eight, keep location of the village a secret. This is to ensure that no one who is jealous of the citizens tries to harm us in any way. Number nine, no drugs are allowed. There will be approved drugs provided by the town rulers. No one can bring their own drugs. And if someone is found with illegal drugs, the citizen will be removed. Rule 10, don't take more than you need. The meals and other necessities will be provided and everyone should only take what they need. The formation of Goat Town was put to action by two dictators, Kyle Craninger and Jake Blonge. They thought that the society today wasn't athletic enough and the people who were athletic were not training properly. The town is a safe haven for athletes to become their best in peace and in the company of other state-of-the-art athletes. The two rulers will work together in a dictatorship that will make the decisions based on what will be the best for the families there and for the training of the inhabitants. The families who live in the town will have everything provi provided for them on the island. Anyone who disobeys the rules of the island will be removed and not allowed back. Go Town will provide all necessities for its inhabitants. All they have to do is make a call to the service people and they will bring them whatever they need. A very nice apartment will be provided to each athlete and their family. There will be a super Walmart on the island that is open 24-7 and will provide toys and other things that might be needed. The island is sponsored by Nike, so all the athletes get whatever clothes they want. There will be no money in the utopia, but every athlete will need to pay 10% of their salary to cover the cost of all the goods that are provided. There will be nobody making determinations about who gets how much of what because it is all-inclusive. But if someone starts ordering food and wasting it, they will put, be put on a restriction. Everyone should just take what they the government will be run by a dictatorship. The dictator will talk with its close associates and then make a decision based on what is best for the town as a whole. The town will be located on Nantucket Island off the coast of Rhode Island. This is the perfect spot because it is close to many large cities and is also secluded on an island. The town will be private and the location of it will be a secret only known by the inhabitants. The members will include any active athlete who has ever been selected to an all-pro team and their career and their immediate family. Once they retire, they will leave this island to live somewhere on their own. This is the daily itinerary for the wives, children, and athletes. They'll have a great time in our town. <laughs>